all right guys here we are it is tuesday march 15th and we're going to go for a ride it's 60 degrees right now it's gorgeous can't pass it up can't pass it up this is a good opportunity to test my new audio setup too see how it sounds. I'm going to try not to shout. I got a new HJC full face helmet just cranking down. You probably can't see anything. I hope this camera angle is right. Might be a little low. We'll see. Uh, I don't have any charging for the GoPro with me so it's only going to be a short ride. Oh, I think I just killed it. <laughs> what a dope. That's weird. I shouldn't have done that. Let's try again. Ah, I bumped the off switch. I was dinking around. I bumped the ignition kill. screen's gonna rattle. <laughs> it's because it's cold. I gotta find a way of stopping that. So I got these new gloves as well. Right here. Trying them out, see how they are for cooler weather. I did go through and check my tire pressure, so I'm good there. Yeah, the screen's a bit, a bit noisy. I'm going to have to look at that. It's only going to be a short ride. And this road is crap. Vibrating a little bit, end of the season. It might just be need tightening up somewhere. up the visor. This is the first time I've had a proper audio set up so I'm anxious to hear how this is going to sound. A little chance for the tyres to get warm before we start cranking on her. Man, what a beautiful, beautiful March evening, afternoon. You don't get to say that very often. And the rest of this week is going to be up in the 60s. Might actually hit 70 on Thursday. I'm hoping we get a little bit of rain in between because there is salt on the road still. So I'm going to have to wash this off. Probably on the weekend. So, first ride since beginning of December and I'm already feeling like I don't like the position of this screen. 
it's funny when you get back on your bike that you've been riding all all year last year and now suddenly some things aren't just quite right so you're gonna have to look at that I don't know how much I'm gonna put into this because I am window shopping for Harleys right now but I am thinking about keeping this as a second bike and the car can sit out So, how was your week, everybody? Let me know in the comments. Are you getting ready for riding season? Would love to hear from you. There's already some bikes out. Might have to adjust this fuel controller. Feels to me like the idle's a bit low. Getting used to this helmet, too. There's a little steam up there, but I've got the air vent, through vent blocked. Yeah, one of the front vent is blocked with the uh, GoPro. It's because I have changed the mount. Before I had a um, Sopro mount, which was with straps, it was attached to the helmet, the chin part of it. But now I've gone over to a whole different method that I have borrowed from the guys on YouTube, and it is to Sugru a GoPro um, connector, I don't know if you call it a connector, a base, to the front of the helmet and then slide uh, the GoPro in straight in without using any other attachments. So I'm hoping the height's right. I'm also taking a Purple Panda lavalier mic from the GoPro straight into the helmet. You know, I've done a little bit of, done a little bit of duct taping with that to, just to kind of get it out today, but I'm gonna do a bit more of a permanent job. But yeah, oh, we're riding. It is fantastic. I got my leather on, just a light hoodie and a t-shirt, just jeans, my boots, my new boots, they're Harley boots, but we won't tell the Harley riders I'm riding on them. <laughs> I'm happy to be out. I got about 70 miles on this tank with some uh, additive in there so it's not going to be a clean clean run I'll probably just go for about 15 20 miles and call it but uh, oh, it's good to be out so yeah as I was saying how's your work week mine's been pretty good uh, for those of you family members and friends that follow me you'll know what I do for a living those that don't I work for a company that builds mobile command vehicles, special service vehicles, and snap-on tool trucks. And I am on a crew on the uh, special service vehicle side. So we do, we're doing, we're currently doing a medical unit. We've done uh, a couple in a row. Uh, actually, one of them was a, a police unit. And um, yeah, we build command vehicles and all the snap-on tool trucks you see on the road, I believe are all ours now. I don't believe we have a competitor. Yeah, I hear that screen. I've got to do something with that. Here we go. Oops, 80 miles an hour. <laughs> it's so easy to do that on this bike because it's, it's got a ton of torque. There we go. Close the helmet up. Some helmets are noisy, this one doesn't feel too bad, of course I won't know until I get back and check the video. So anyway, one of the nice things about the job that I do is that it gives me some, well it gives me an all, all hands-on experience, hands -on, it's a hands-on job, and it gives me a little bit of experience to do some of the projects on the bike, which I save some money on doing. So you guys out there that work with your hands all day, 
you know what that's like to be able to save a buck or two, especially these days. Going to watch for the loose gravel on the road here because of this from the ploughing and everything over the season. That looks pretty clear. in a uh, sun visor so I don't need sunglasses on it's a nice helmet it's HJC I've got a couple of them three of them actually the bottom's a bit too big so I use it really just as a backup just gotta get used to doing this GoPro in this way I bit my <laughs> Hit my cheek earlier while I was eating a lunch. And now the cheek pads are pushing it in, so when I'm talking, nibbling on the little bump that they've got. Well, if that's not small talk, then what is? So I'm taking Highway N between Elkhorn and uh, eventually goes into Lake Geneva. turn here shortly. Just a little ice on the pond there. <laughs> it's so good to be out. to tweak that fuel control I'm getting a little bit of popping could be dirty fuel this is heading out towards Springfield To be honest, for the first ride of the season, first proper one, she feels pretty good. Nice barn there. Nice cruising in fifth gear. position the GoPro correctly so getting a nice view. get used to on these first rides of the season where the road has shifted from the freeze. I imagine the ground is still fairly well frozen. Yeah, you get those little, little uh, dips in the road that really bang on your suspension. So if you're a rider and you're in the Wisconsin area, if you're out this way, uh, give me a shout on my channel. It'd be great to meet up with local riders. I've been following a couple of guys that are from this area 
or in Wisconsin anyway and uh, it'd be nice if you run into those guys but yeah if you're if you're riding and you're out and about just give me a shell Right there, a lot of grit on the road there, a lot of salt. Just gotta watch those on the bends and, and making your turns. to 10 to 5 on a Tuesday evening afternoon what a way to start the Wednesday I said I like this HJC helmet. And I've got a got a couple of them. One of them's a, a half face. But th this is really nice. Uh, I'm hoping this setup is good. It's going to be ideal for vlogging. I really have had no success with audio. If you see my other films, you'll know that they're mostly no talking when I'm riding. But let's hope we've got it solved. Thanks to the YouTube community helping dummies like me make simple videos you thought I was going to finish that didn't you <laughs> fade you out a nice red barn it's fairly new Wisconsin red barns they're an absolute joy to behold and the further north you go, the, the, the nicer they are. But there are some nice ones in this area. So you get your skills back again. You lay in dormant for a while. So at some point I'll probably go into a parking lot, do my tight turns, U-turns. Just get back into it a little bit. Been watching a lot of those... Uh, instructional video just to keep your skills nice and sharp I ride like a pro Jerry Palladino an MC rider too I've been following those guys just some stuff to do during the off season but also very interesting educational and you know adds towards the safety but if you don't get out and practice it there's no use to you so that is going to be one thing I'm looking at doing I'm going to shut up for a minute and you can listen to the engine and enjoy the ride. that screen
case the first one didn't work. to spend a Tuesday afternoon. This is what the C stands for. There's a, an N version, an R version. Uh, I've forgotten what the other ones are, which are more of a swept back, kind of a cruiser feel. This is more of a street street rod type of a thing, flatter stance on the bars. Come on, pudding. roads are bumpy like I said after the the hard winter the roads kind of buckle a little bit they do return but it takes a while go down through town have a look around I am a hundred percent sold on this helmet it fits nice and snug but not tight there's no movement in it back and forth it's nice and comfortable plenty of room and it's actually holding the audio uh, set up pretty well I've got some of the cable bunched up behind one of the ear pads and I can't even feel it Two hundred and something dollars, uh, low to like two two ten, I think it was with tanks. So it wasn't a super expensive one. pop in there I think we have to adjust that uh, fuel controller up a little bit but I'm not going to do that till the weather warms up Definitely a little bit of definitely a little bit of pop in there that I'm not fond of.
see if I labour the engine a little bit. Hmm. Not too bad. It might just be first ride, waking her up. Be honest, I wish I hadn't bought that fuel controller that I bought. I wish I'd had the money to get the one that's adjustable with a phone app, but nah. Never mind. Probably doing the same thing. There's that vibration on the screen. I'm hoping to get a little bit of the street to myself to do a little U-turn practice. Yeah, you can hear that popping, I'm sure. <laughs> it's always fun when the kids are out. trouble there's always one neighbor <laughs> not mine thankfully here piece of cake look at that Jerry you'd be proud of me Mr. Palladino no you wouldn't because I was all over the place as you probably noticed well, don't be afraid to lean it that's what he says yeah, you see, I can get that nice tight U-turn without touching down. A little bit more practice needed there, I think. That's like he says, if you can't make a U-turn like that and you're dunk walking, the girl on the back of your bike thinks she's dating a doofus, and we don't want that. Okay, we're home. For the life of me, I can't remember the name of these gloves now. <laughs> oh, here we go, Alpine Stars SMX2 Carbon. They've got carbon on the hands, on the knuckles here. The rest of it's just rubber. It's heavily stitched. Nice and comfortable. They were warm, actually. They weren't bad, considering. I don't think they're a, they might be a three season glove. But um, yeah, they felt really good. So anyway, that's the video. I think my GoPro is all over the place. I think it's way too low. So this is maybe not a particularly good one. Uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you soon. Cheers.